Hi, I'm Christina and this is a book review of An American Marriage by Tiari Jones. So this is a contemporary novel, it was published in 2018 and it was the winner of the Women's Prize for Fiction 2019. We have two main characters, Roy and Celestial, who are newlyweds. Roy is an executive, he is very ambitious and Celestial is an up and coming artist. So they've only been married a very short amount of time when Roy is arrested for a crime that Celestial knows he did not commit and then Roy is sentenced to a very long period of time in prison. So for the first part of the book we just observe Roy and Celestial's marriage and then the second part of the book the format changes and it is letters back and forth between husband and wife and I have to say I think that was my favourite part of the book. I really enjoyed the inclusion of the letters, I thought we really saw a lot about the main characters, we saw their shifting dynamics and their shifting feelings towards one another and I thought that was definitely my highlight of the book. I have read a few books where letters are included and it's always a style of writing that I really really connect with and I thought it was done really really well in this story. So the story focuses on a lot of very large themes, it focuses on the systemic racism in America and the systemic corruption in the legal system as well and it's really important to obviously talk about such massive themes but at the same time it really is just a story about two people and their marriage and how this conviction has changed everything about their relationship and change their entire future and all the possibilities that they had open to them. And it really is just a focus on an American marriage, as the title would suggest, for not only Roy and Celestials, which is of course the central marriage in this story, but also the marriage of both of their parents. So we do look at different generational marriages, and I thought that was really well done. So when we see Celestial's parents' marriage, we see how different it is from Roy's parents' marriage. Uh, Celestial's parents, her father is a chemistry teacher and he has invented something that is very profitable and that's where their wealth has come from. And her mother is his second wife. And then in Roy's parents' marriage, his mother was a single mother the father of Roy left her when she was young and when she was pregnant and then his father is her husband and has adopted Roy as his son. And then we also do get a chance to meet Roy's biological father as well. So we spend a lot of time on family dynamics and we spend a lot of time looking at the kind of mother-in-law and father-in-law relationship as well. So we see how Celestial feels meeting his parents for the first time and how their relationship changes obviously when her husband and their son is in prison and how that affects the whole dynamic of the kind of parents-in-law relationship and then we also see it from the other side and then how Roy feels in comparison to Celestial's parents and how he always felt not quite comfortable and how he had to kind of put on a great act for them. So yeah, we see so many different family dynamics. It's a major, major theme of the story. So overall, I will give this book four stars. I have to say that I really, really wanted to know what was going to happen to these characters. I had decided to go to bed at 10 o'clock and then I just kept reading until I finished the whole book. I kept reading for like another hour and a half because I just wanted to know what is going to happen to these characters, what are they going to decide, what is what's actually going to happen because I was just really really intrigued to know where we were going and I knew if I put it down and went to bed and picked it up another day I wouldn't get as much out of it and I wouldn't enjoy it as much so I definitely just had to keep reading this story. So I think there were a couple of things that did stop me from giving it five stars, one of which was there were some kind of plot conveniences that I wasn't 100% on board with, I won't say what they are because they're both classified as spoilers, but yeah just sometimes I thought things were a little bit too convenient, um, but it didn't really affect my overall enjoyment of the story, but it just didn't necessarily ring completely authentic sometimes. And then the other thing that I didn't enjoy quite so much and probably prevented it from being a five star read is that for the majority of this story it is just two perspectives we hear from. It's Roy and it's Celestial and it's back and forth between them and I really liked the pacing of that 
and just the way in which the whole story was just absorbed with these two characters and we only saw every single person through their eyes and I really liked that but then about about three quarters of the way through like for the last part of the book we are introduced to another perspective which is Andre and he is the best man at their wedding he has been friends with Celestial since they were children and he met Roy when they were at college. So we had this kind of new perspective thrown at us like very near towards the end of the story and I just kind of didn't gain as much from his perspective and I think I would have preferred to just see everything through their eyes because Andre is quite a major player in the story and we've only seen him through Roy and Celestial's point of view and then all of a sudden in the last third we get his point of view and yeah I just I would have preferred to have just seen it between Roy and Celestial I think it would have had a bigger impact on me and just yeah felt more what I was expecting I think to bring in another perspective so late in the story um, kind of hindered rather than added to my reading experience but that's obviously just a very personal view of it so yeah I really enjoyed this book overall I can definitely see why it won the Women's Prize for Fiction I'm definitely interested in reading um, lots of the winners for the Women's Prize for Fiction I've really been enjoying following the Women's Prize this year and last year and if you're also interested in the Women's Prize I have quite a few book reviews for the ones from this year 2022 so I will link those down below. So I definitely want to read more by this author, she has a few more books that I'm interested in but I think the one that I am most drawn to is Silver Sparrow, I'm really interested in reading that one. So if you have read this book I would love to know your thoughts on it down in the comments below and if you've read any of her other stories or if you've read a few of her stories definitely tell me which one is your favourite just so I know where to begin with her backlist because I'm definitely interested in reading more of her books and I'll be very much interested to read whatever she comes out with next so I'm definitely going to be following her as an author from now on. So thank you so much for watching, please do like the video if you've liked it and please do subscribe if you'd like to see more of me talking about books. I'll see you in my next one, bye!